The extent of elevation of a lesion upon submucosal injection should be classified as lifting or non-lifting, as these features strongly correlate with the depth of invasion. As shown in Figure A, lesions classified as SM1 and SM2 are mostly elevated by fluid injection. This is called a positive lifting sign. As shown in Figure B, the dense fibrosis associated with invasive carcinoma, classified as SM3, prevents fluid infiltration through the submucosal connective tissue. Thus, there is no bleb formation and the lesion is not elevated. This is called a positive non-lifting sign. The arrow points to a slit that developed between the lesion and the bleb. This is our first case with a colorectal lesion. Inject 3 to 5 milliliters of diluted methylene blue into the submucosa with a 23 gauge needle. Injection should be made into two or three sites, each approximately 2 millimeters from the edge of the lesion. Always avoid puncturing the lesion. This lesion clearly shows a positive lifting sign. We can classify this tumor as lifting. Indeed, after resection, the specimen showed an invasion of the submucosa not deeper than 400 micrometers. This is another case with a flat-type tumor suspicious for an early colorectal cancer. First, enhance demarcation of the lesion by some dye spraying, then inject fluid into the submucosal layer next to the lesion. The lifting sign of this lesion is positive and we can proceed with endoscopic resection. The resection specimen showed a depth of invasion of 400 micrometers. The third lesion is a pedunculated type tumor. Again, we inject methylene blue into the submucosa, but the dense fibrosis associated with this invasive carcinoma prevents fluid infiltration through the submucosal connective tissue. The normal mucosa around the tumor is lifted and forms a bleb. Here you see a slit that develops between the lesion and the bleb. Therefore, the lesion is classified as a non-lifting lesion and was removed surgically. Indeed, maximum invasion depth was the muscularis propria, corresponding to a T2 carcinoma.